Well, hello, Coming Community Church Pastor Thomas here. Hope you're having a great week. Let's continue our look at Mark's Gospel with just two verses today. So, Mark chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. Let me read them for us. I'll pray, and then we'll talk a little bit about them. He went out again beside the sea, and all the crowd was coming to him, and he was teaching them. And as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Adolphus, sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. Let's pray. Gracious God, thanks again for this text and this reminder of uh, what it means to be called by you. So I pray today that all those who are called by you and those who you are calling but people maybe aren't listening, I pray that you would break through and open their ears and their hearts to hear from you today. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Okay, so here's the simple scenario. Jesus, out doing Jesus things, right? He's out again by the sea, teaching. The crowds are coming to him. And as he passes by, he sees a man. A um, man named Levi. Now, in uh, you may know him by his better known name, Matthew. As in Matthew the tax collector. As in Matthew the apostle, right? And so Jesus sees him and he says, hey. You, come follow me. So a couple things you need to understand. Number one, Matthew or, or Levi was a tax collector. And if there was any person that was hated in the days of Jesus more than a tax collector, I don't know who it would have been. Tax collectors were despised by their countrymen. They felt like they had sold out to the Romans. And on top of that, they often cheated and and were not trustworthy and yet jesus looked at him and said hey i want you you come follow me now here's what i find fascinating matthew had to have known who he was matthew had to have understood who he was and in all of that matthew still left everything got up and followed jesus how often do we make excuse after excuse after excuse why we can't follow the teaching of Jesus, the command of Jesus, the, the, the message that Jesus has told us? We, we come up with reason after reason after reason as to why we can't be obedient. And here's a tax collector who just did what he was told. And that's our lesson, too. The message to that original audience was, Jesus can even work with tax collectors. Jesus can even work with the people we don't like. And just as the message then to that original reader was, Jesus can work with you, because of who he is and what he has done, Jesus can work for, with you. He can work with me. He calls you and he calls me to come and to repent. The question is, Will we listen and will we obey? Jesus came for the least of these, for the sinner. So if you admit you're a sinner, you're on the path to having a relationship with Jesus. We'll talk more about that on Sunday as we look at Psalm 32 and continue our series, Blessed. But until then, coming church, have a great rest of your week. Short one this week. Get out there. Tell someone that Jesus loves them. We'll see you Sunday. God bless, guys.